Are you a new boutique owner and you are obsessed with the shiny object syndrome? You know, the thing that shines bright in your eyes that you cannot get over that you have to just do first. For business owners, oftentimes that is what we call branding, but a lot of times we're not ready for that. We want to jump to building a website, building our Instagram, buying product. We want to ask questions like, oh, how much should I spend on inventory? How many packs of that item should we buy? But you haven't even taken the time to go back to really get your foundation set up. Do you know what your business foundations are? If this seems like something you may need help with or you totally skip this step, stay tuned because class is in session. Hey you guys, this is your girl Tiffany B, the lovely lady, and as always, thank you for spending some of your highly sought after time here on my page, learning with me. I am a new business owner just like you, and as I am building my business, I make videos and workbooks that have helped me flesh out some parts that when I had my first boutique, I really struggled with. <laughs> I learned with that first boutique, we skipped over a crap ton of steps, and I could not continue to do that if I wanted to open up a successful boutique. So with that being said, this is part two, um, vision and mission setup. Part one was understanding your business why. And again, this is a three part series and it is meant for you to literally do each part in order. So if you have not downloaded the workbook and watched the business foundations part one, understanding your business why, I recommend you go back and do that and then you hop back on this video. Fair? Fair. All right, so in this video, we are going to be fleshing out what is a vision? What is a mission? Giving you examples of those that are industry related to fashion and maybe some that are, you know, at least industry related when it comes to products that are popular to us. We're going to go through an example or a exercise that is going to help you flesh out yours. And I'm going to break it down to you and how that helps you figure out other things in your business. When I started out on the journey of launching my own boutique and I was like, okay, Tiffany, you have to start the right way and I started trying to develop my mission and vision statement, you guys, there is so much conflicting information out there. Literally, there's websites where one says, hey, this is a mission, and the other one says, hey, this is a vision, but it'll be the same statement for the same company. So I really had to do a deep dive in understanding mission and vision, and what I found that when I was researching actual businesses, I was pulling up H&M, Forever 21, Skim, Savage X20, is that it's not always worded in a way that makes sense to us. So when you're trying to do your competitor research, go ahead and go to your top three big competitors. And I'm not talking about other boutiques um, that don't necessarily have brick and mortars yet. I'm talking about big businesses that are household names at this point. That's your competition. Yes, other boutiques are part of your competition, but when it comes to how you are trying to model your business and what you're trying to compete for when you are literally um, trying to get your customer to convert to your website instead of say H&M's, that's who you want to look at. Um, just real quick, that was a little quick tidbit. So I went to several websites and I had to understand that each of those brands sometimes worded them different. A lot of times they were in paragraphs and not necessarily just simple statements as your business textbook will show you or when you're doing your research or your Udemy account, whatever class you're taking, if you're taking one at all to learn about um, Business Foundation's mission and vision. It wasn't like the textbook um, organization of it. So after compiling all the information, I was able to come up with a few things. And the biggest thing is understanding the difference. So first, let's start with a vision. A vision is your ideal state or how you want your business to impact the world. Like when, say a customer buys your item and not just their pain point being solved but what does their pain point help them achieve in life does it help them be a better mom does it help them be a better co-worker because they're not stressed about acne marks on their face they're not stressed about roles because you solve that pain point for them so you literally help them be a better co-worker you help them have a presentation at work i.e that help them get a promotion i.e that help them provide for their family all because they didn't have to feel insecure about some body part or some scar on their face or whatever it is or dandruff in their hair whatever product that you provide 
that is what your mission um i mean i'm sorry that is what your vision is <laughs> and so when you are delving into what your vision is you can start out by maybe thinking about okay what pain point am i solving number one that's not your vision though but your vision is how that pain point helps make someone's life better for example nike's vision is to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. That is a vision. It has it, and I just want to say this real quick, something that um, Simon Sinek would, if you watch my business, why? You know that I absolutely love him. He was like, your business vision and mission doesn't even mention your product. It shouldn't. Because your vision and mission should focus on what you're solving for the world. And not necessarily a pain point, but the what that pain, what not having that pain point does. So when Nike says to bring innovation and inspiration to every athlete in the world, they are going to be creating products that solve a pain point that allow the athlete to be innovative and inspired. So say an athlete is having really hard times having a shoe that helps him win the Olympics or helps him sprint. They didn't say our vision is to provide the best shoes in the industry. That's not what they said. That is, you know, they didn't say our vision is to relieve pain in an athlete's foot. That's not what they said. They said that we're providing these shoes that take away the pain so that an athlete can focus and he can be inspired to win this race. He doesn't, his mind doesn't have to be bogged down by the pain in his feet. I hope that makes sense. If not, let me know in the comments and I can maybe go on Instagram and further clarify that. But I really want to make sure that you understand that your vision is not the pain point. And it's not even what pain point you solved. It is how that pain point has improved your ideal customer's life. Got it? I hope that example with Nike makes sense. If you need more examples, I have made a workbook and it's available on my website. The link is in the description below. Go ahead and download it. And also in that workbook, there is a activity that is going to help you flesh out your own vision for your business. And there's also a competitor analysis worksheet where you can go and write down your competitors and you can make as many copies of the sheet as you need, but you can write down your competitors and you can literally analyze and compare and contrast their vision statement. So we've talked about vision and what a vision is. Now let's move over to what a mission is. A mission is simply put how you are going to bring that vision to life. So you have your vision, your ideal state. You are helping athletes be more innovative and inspired when they are performing out on the field. How how are you going to help them do that? How, what is your company's focus when it comes to bringing that vision to life? That is your mission. Your mission is your ideal state. It is an action. It is not something that is an adjective <laughs> so you need to when you're trying to write your mission statement think of words that are actionable so we use again nike's example their mission statement is to do everything possible to expand human potential everything possible to expand human potential again in their vision and their mission statement they have not stated a product because i know a lot of times we get obsessed with selling 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 some of our Instagrams reflect that because all we have is our product. We haven't posted any lifestyle products of our customer or target audience in the product. All we talk about is product, product, product. When it comes to your business foundations, your why, your mission, your vision, and even your value, your core values should not have your product in it yet. This should all be about what change you're trying to make in the world and how you're trying to make that change. So again, your mission, like Nike's, they said to do everything possible to expand human potential. Everything possible to expand human potential. Let's bring it maybe to a fashion brand. Let's look at another example. For example, TJ Maxx. Their vision is to grow TJ Maxx as a global off-price value retailer, that's their vision, by delivering great value to our customers every day. Another example of a mission statement, for example, Shopify. We all love Shopify. If you don't, girl, get on the bandwagon. Their mission is to reduce barriers to business ownership. That is a mission. <laughs> Again, they did not mention, you know, hey, we're, we're developing an e-commerce website. They literally said their mission is to reduce the barriers to business ownership. That's just a couple of, of, of examples. 
So when you are thinking of your vision, think of your vision as the what and think of your mission as the how. In our business foundations part one, understanding your business why, we talked about the golden circle. Three parts of that golden circle is the why, the what, and the how. And that is literally what your vision and mission statement is. That is what Simon Sinek used the golden circle 11 years ago to better define for us is our vision mission statement. And he did that by using the, the why, the how, and the what. So when it comes to your, again, your vision and mission, your vision is your what, your mission is the how. And again, when you are developing these, none of them should yet state your product. Uh, yeah, because again, when you are building your business and you are building your brand, you want to focus on telling a story. You don't necessarily want to focus on a product. Believe me, you can if you have these things hammered down, yo, you can almost sell anything because it gives you a framework in which to sell that item. I could literally sell colored pencils one by one if I can create a story about why my customer needs colored pencils one by one instead of a pack. I can literally sell you dirt pint by pint if I can create a story a convincible story around why I need to sell you dirt pint by pint sometimes we are so focused on buying the product that we forget to create a story around that very product so this is why you need your business foundations because it would be easier to create a story around your product to understand your target audience to understand what story that target audience is going to respond to it will help you create amazing ads it will help you create amazing social media pages for your business. Not wanting to waste a lot of your time, that is literally the meat of your business foundations is your vision and your mission. Next, we're going to talk about in the next video, your core values and literally putting your business why, your mission vision, and your core values all together to literally have a solid foundation. I hope that this video really helped you guys. Um, if you have not yet paused the video and went and downloaded the workbook that goes with this video, what are you waiting for? Link is in the description. It literally talks about other examples in the industry that will help you flesh out your business vision and mission. There's a little activity in there so that you can print out a page and there's a framework to help you compare and contrast your competitors vision and mission because that is a very another important part of your business foundation is competitor research and i can't wait to do that video for you guys because i honestly i did my competitor research before i even did these parts um, but i also realized that I, it helped me kind of flesh out mine so after we talk about um, core values in the next video the video after that is going to be competitor research so if you are not subscribed to my channel you missing out girl or a guy um, so go ahead and hit that notification bell with the little dings around it so that you will not miss out on any part of what's to come and that we can build our businesses together here's a bonus tip for you guys your business why your mission and your vision and also your core values guess what it may evolve over time just like your body grows because we said earlier that we are literally going to humanize our business just as we mature and we grow i really hope that your business matures and grows with you um you don't i mean you don't want your business to be the same 10 years from now as it was on day one so all of these things are flexible all of these, these things grow and mature over time as you really figure out your target audience and you hammer down what works for you. This is all very different for every business. So don't beat your head, um, beat yourself up because yours isn't as fleshed out as your favorite boutique coach or yours isn't as fleshed out as H&M or Zara or Forever 21 or even Savage or even that your favorite Kylie Cosmetics or something of that sort do not beat yourself up all of the those people number one have a huge team helping them figure things out and they've been in business for a while so they have also evolved over time so i just wanted to give you guys that quick tip thank you guys for tuning in to me today i cannot again wait to bring you your next video which is core values and value statements for your business so that we can get this thing popping with our business and we can move on to some of the fun stuff Thanks again for tuning in. This is your girl Tiffany B. And until next time, stay lovely.